Boom! Good Monday morning! I am MPJ and you are watching Fun Fun Function. Today we are continuing a series where we are building a Pomodoro button. Uh, and if you don't know what that is or you're confused and haven't seen the previous episodes, you can do so by clicking there. But the goal for today is to, uh, I think we're gonna press that there and then it's gonna make a lighty thingy go round and round and round and round here. And when it has done that, it should log that to the server. Let's get going. First step, make some coffee. Okay, because I have the memory of a goldfish, uh, I tend to keep a work log. And last time we did this. Uh, we did an automated deploy of this thing on uh, Google Container Cloud because that was such a hassle and I did that every time I made this video. Just to get warmed up, I am going to, I'm going to do that deploy now. Need to connect to Docker. Need to have a Docker terminal. One thing that strikes me when working with this project is that Docker, while very nice, is also very slow. Like, it's with development, I think that one of the most frustrating things, you know, when we when we talk about users, we we have this all these kind of data saying that the user experience should uh, hit you below 100 milliseconds. There's a study uh, that Google did that showed that once they made longer search results, they had a lot lower conversion rate simply because the, uh, the, the search results took like 110 milliseconds instead of 90 milliseconds to load. And that made such a huge difference. So we, we tend to be very wary of, uh, of, of milliseconds here and there, but when it comes to our own experience, our own development tools, we tend to just 30 minutes here and there, whatever. While we're waiting for that, uh, I want to make sure that we have defined our current goal, uh, and that is going to be press a button on the photon and have it. I can type go around the clock in quotes, uh, and then pull report back to the server. Done. Okay, I think this means that we can uh, get pods. Let's log that. Uh, Kidney days, get logs. No, not. Ah! Ah! Yes. Okay, and now, if I press the button, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's showing things on the screen on the internet when I'm pressing these buttons. That is why I'm so excited, and that is what makes me a nerd. 
Okay, let's go back to the work log. Um, press the button on the phone and have it go around the clock and then report back to server. I'm not entirely sure how to go about this. I want uh, as much as possible of the logic to be on the server, but uh, I'm not sure if there is any benefit at all to that in this point. I want, I think I just want to go into the photon right now and do the around the clock motion immediately upon the button press. And yeah, let's start there. Photon. Oh. What is this? No, it's a particle IO. Like, this is a great device, but it has the shittiest name. Build. Okay, so I want. Yeah, oh! it flashed this. Why did it do that? How did it? How? What? No, I'm flashing it. Shit. Oh, it's this one. And I, when I press this one, it collapses and so Anyway, here is on the loop thingamabob here. Uh, I want to do something. I want to... Because when I... When I press... Like, I'm, I'm at this logic point here. It's when I press... Oh no, it's flashing. I have to wait for it to flash it because I accidentally pressed the uh, the button here, which flashes the thing down from the internet to the device. So that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for it to flash and boot. The photon is pretty cool from this department. Whoa! Okay, now it's doing something. Did I flash it with something else? No, it's. What is it doing? It's flashing green. Okay. All right. I think this is the software. Yeah, because when it boots, when it set ups here. It does this sweeps function, uh, which is down here, and that is what the swipey thing does. And then, up here on the button one, I uh, oh god, uh, when I press this button here, button one, it should. Oh, okay, that is this is button one. Okay, I want to press the left one, the left button, and that is help. I can't type. Here, I want to make the thing go round. So, uh, let's see. What are these parameters? Uh, this is... Can I get this bigger for you guys? Yes, I can. Not that big. That big. Okay, so here we have an LED thing. Yeah, this is this is the first the first uh, parameter here. That is the the number the index of the LED that we want to light up, and this is the colors. So let's just try this. Like I want to light up the first two LEDs and see which ones those are. I'm flashing it. Updating the device. Green flashy thing. Look around. Now I'm gonna press this button. Okay, so that is index one and that is index two. And they are staying lit because uh, the the old one, uh, the old code flashed this one and then it turned off after a little while. And it did that because <laughs> Uh, I'm turning the LED number three off, so it's that one, but it's these are number one and number two. I think I'm gonna keep them green. I like the green ones because it gives a good sense of accomplishment. That's the point of the Pomodoro timer. It's supposed to give you a sense of progression. Okay, so we know how to start lighting these up because we're gonna just go light one, two, three up like until we have uh, it does that for, for 25 minutes, like a clock. But how do we do that? Because this, this is not like JavaScript. This is some C dialect. And the loop here, uh, it's going to be running all the time. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set uh, this button is gonna set some kind of state. Uh, how do we do that? I guess can we just declare variables up here like of rules? No, not rules. String state. I know nothing about this language, so I'm just winging it completely. Uh, string state. Idle. That's the basic state. Does that work? Okay. Right. Very, very, okay. Can I compile it? Yes. All right. Yes, it's compiling. I'm gonna carry this over here so that you can see. Yes, code verified. Great work. <laughs> it's nice that it's telling me great work. Um, all right. So when I press this button, it's gonna be change the state to counting. Perhaps let's call it that. Uh, and we're gonna create a new if here. If uh state equals counting uh we are going counting counting do, 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 do. uh what are we doing here uh we want to light the leads up as we go as time progresses uh so the longer from the time we started counting the longer the time has passed, the more LEDs we want to light up. So, I think we need to tra keep track of when we started counting. So, how... Okay, particle... Uh, uh, date, time, current, time, something. Maybe uh, count start equals zero and want to when pressing the button we want to set count start time dot local and we want to create calculate the difference between when we started and current time. Time dot local minus the start time. So this will be the difference between when we started counting and what the time is now. And with that, <laughs> so we want this to light up LEDs the longer we have the traveled on the journey of, of 25 minutes but I'm gonna make it 25 seconds for now uh, otherwise debugging will be strange so we're gonna say that Pomodoro size is going to be 25 times this is this milliseconds or what is it Achieve the current time zone and the current period time zones as second since January 1. Alright, so I this is gonna be second, so we wanna know 25 seconds. Okay, that is seconds and this seconds. I like having longer variable names that and having them to be obvious. Let's just call it difference. This thing, it has 12 LEDs, I think. Uh, so we are going to like LEDs or number of LEDs to light. I think we're gonna have difference seconds uh, divided by 25. I wonder how this will round. It probably will work. 
Let's see. And we, uh, how do we do this? Oh, let's just do a for loop. Uh, I equals zero. We're gonna loop here uh, while I equals number of leads to light and I plus plus. Da, 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 da. I need, I need, I need, I need, um, I need something like this. It's gonna be B LED on and it's gonna be I, yeah. So we're taking the, the integer here, the law. I don't think we're gonna start at one. And yeah, I think I need to add one to that or it won't work. So yeah, maybe this will work. I'm just going to remove these. Verify. Yeah, it's compiling. Just compile. Yes, it, it's verified. Wait, what if you flash it? Exciting! What? Oh, I think this is. I don't know what this And. Nothing! <laughs> okay, what is wrong? Why doesn't it. How do we debug this thing? Is there some kind of print or something? Particle publish booted. Can I? So these things. Can I see them somewhere? Can I? If I click the dashboard. this I can view this in the terminal actually ah oh, I have to remember to delete this access token here when I publish the video I'm gonna make a note of that but wait a minute it has worked now afterwards this is what we it works it works I I just <laughs> I just didn't realize what the consequence of my code would would be. Uh, so now it's actually as twenty five seconds go past, it will it will light up more and more LEDs. Come on, come on. There you go. Okay, let's change this to just be ten seconds or something, uh, so that. Comes saner. Low state counting from lower size seconds. Like five seconds. Come on, come, come. And that's my boot up sequence. Sweep. And we click. See. That should be fast. It takes a long time. Uh, this is definitely not. 10 seconds it's very slow it's like more like wait a minute i'm not i'm not using this variable anywhere i need to do that okay let's, let's flash it and see what what that does to things mm. now this should be faster this should definitely be faster. Why isn't it? It's doing what it should though. It is. Just too slow. I'm just watching it because you know I made this. I'm proud of it. <laughs> Let's watch this stream on the terminal. I want to do like particle publish. And I'm not starting counting. And I'm gonna put in the count start. Can I do that?
So if I had a second person here, I, I'm sure that that person would have spotted the error, but now I'm just stuck on my own. This is, uh, if you watched uh, the one of the previous episodes uh, where we pair program, where me and David pair programs, uh, you'll you see how much more efficient that is because you don't get stuck at all for for uh, for long periods of time, which you can when you're coding alone. Wow. This is so embarrassing because you probably have figured this out like the minute I started doing this. Uh, this uh, number of left slide is wrong. This is what I'm actually calculating is the percentage of lights uh, to light or something like that. Uh, which is gonna be either zero or one because these are ints. Um, so it's gonna be um, number of LEDs total. Twelve. Number of LEDs to light should be twelve times percentage. Of lights to light. This won't work though because these are ints and I want this to be like floating point values and I'm not sure how to convert them to that. I'm just gonna publish this and see what I get. It, it's probably not gonna work. But... Uh, yeah, <laughs> so it does what I, I get the end result right, but because these are floats, uh, the percentage doesn't work. I need to make uh, these into floats. I want this to be a float. How do I, can I just do this? I can most likely not do that. But I'm gonna try it anyway. And oh, yes, it actually worked. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's make that uh, Commodore set seconds 12. Uh, because I want. So that should get us one LED lighting up per second. After it's gonna flash. Come on, 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 come on. All right, yes, <laughs> we're almost out of time. Uh, we need to do the publish to the server. We want to publish an event to the server. If a number of LEDs to light equals, well, uh, we want to uh, particle publish this event. Uh, we want to publish, publish, uh, Pomodoro complete one or something. I don't remember what these things are. Uh, and also, um, we don't want to do this a thousand times. So we're going to do Pomodoro complete. Publish true. And not Pomodoro complete published. And we have to declare that. Let's see. Let's take 
reveal that. Let's publish it again. Whoop. Did something bad. Expected front mm -mm, flashy flash BB1. What is wrong with this? Oops, I can't do that anymore. Expected primary expression before equals to expression? Oh, wait. Maybe I'm just coding JavaScript in C here. Code verified. Great work. Awesome. Flashing it. Going around, and when it reaches the final one, it did not. Oh, not equals false. Um, if that is false, <laughs> there, right, publishing again. Pressing. Right, this time, get there, get there, publish, Pomodoro complete, please. Yes! Now, we just need to have this picked up by the server. So, I'm going to go back to Adam uh, and find our server code, which we haven't seen in a long time. Uh, we need to... Alright, so we actually don't do much with it. We just request the body out, so we should. This should actually already have worked. So we can just do kubectl. I would have expected a... Pomodoro complete here. Uh, but maybe the service hook template. Oh, we have to make a. Um, a we only f have a webhook for the uh, uh, forward event. Or, the, sorry, the button event. So we need to make one more for that thing. Okay, you know what? Um, that we can only have one webhook per file, and I've kind of tied my deploy script together with um, with just having one file. So creating several will be messy. I'm just gonna do a dirty one and call this server event, and uh, we are go. To do uh, no, we're going to go back to poly four zero. I'm going to call this server event. complete there, and I will need to republish this service hook template. I already know what I'm gonna. I'm gonna cheat a bit. I'm gonna copy this because I already know what the IP is in my file. Um, uh, so I'll do this group lol dot json. Uh, paste all of this in here. Bam. Uh, and we're gonna do r and I'm gonna say. Was it it was webhook? Mm, no, particle webhook list. Uh, I'm going to steal this here, put that in, and 
we are going to what to call when look create what to call service book template not json no uh not lul implanted it's in the deploy directory cool we have created a webhook let's delete the old webhook uh, webhook list what just it all right there we are uh, and watch is watching for button and this is our new one watching for server event we want to delete this one so i'm gonna do that web cool web hook delete list watching for server event now i think we're good let's publish that and see what we get moment of truth. We did thinking. Right. Follow on the server here. Come on. Yes, Pomodoro complete. This means that we actually achieved our objective. We have. Press a button on the photon and have it go around the clock and then report back to the server. Whoa. Whoa. Yes! You have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. I release new episodes of Fun Fun Function every Monday morning, 0800 GMT time. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And if you don't want to wait that, and if you don't want to wait that long, you can check out some of the other episodes by clicking here. Until next Monday morning, stay curious. I am no going to make some faces. <laughs> <laughs>